Hi and welcome to another video. In this video we're going to look at um, controlling devices um, using text messages and this is a flow we're going to use, quite a simple flow. We're not actually going to control any devices, we're just going to display the commands and you can see I've already triggered the flow here and we can see on the right hand side we've extracted the command which is switch and the target which is lights and the action is off and the location is outdoor so the basically the command I typed in was switch outdoor lights off and we're using a simple inject node to do this to inject the command now you could be using SMS messages you could be extracting this from email and you could also be using voice but you obviously have to convert the voice to text and that's the way um, Alexa works um, it converts your voice into a text message and the text message that then extracts the commands just like we're doing here so I'm going to display the the actual command on the on the dashboard I'm using the dashboard 2 here and so we can see the command uh, as it's been extracted now this is a, the extracted command that regenerated so let me just clear that off and we'll take a look at the the function now this is the one that does all the work it extracts the commands and it just sends them into the the switch node which routes them on to the appropriate um, group uh, display group but in reality this would actually route them on to another node which would actually send the command to the device to switch the device on off or whatever it's supposed to be doing so let's have a look at the the function node so open it up a little bit and you can see at the top here we have a list of commands now obviously you can edit these commands you can add your own commands to it and we have a list of locations here and then we have a list of targets we've got a door lights uh, lights sockets and we could have fans um, pumps whatever uh, we're using whatever devices we're using and we just add them onto this uh, into this array and then we have various states open close on off those are basic states and of course we can have start stop um, running um, not running etc and again you just add them into here and as our payload comes in here we go, we're going to split it up we're going to split it up based on the on the space character so we're going to split it up into an array of of words uh, which we're going to then extract the the various commands and the various locations the various actions from now of course we can actually misspell these things and so we've got a list of spellings here and close I've got a spelling there close and you can see the misspellings and again you can add to these so if you just if people are actually typing switch but that's typing s w s w u t c h you just add it in here and then you can take care of that one I'll put it in quotes and we get it right okay um, there's the function here that takes care of the spelling so it basically goes through the text we type in <clears throat> And finds a misspelling and actually corrects it so it puts the, the, the spelling correct before it passes on and then we start extracting the data and we have a function called extract which is going to extract whatever we want want to extract and you can see how we call that if we go further down here and so we're going to get the command first and we're going to extract from the message and we're going to commands this is the array of commands and the payload what we send in there so that's what we pass in those array of commands and we do the same with the target we pass in the array of targets and we do the same with the location there is a little um, clutch in here for room you can see here because you have living room dining room uh, and bedroom and bedroom is actually um, spelt like that it hasn't doesn't have a space in it normally so we, we actually have to uh, account for that so obviously there might be other things that you need to actually put in there to uh, to correct okay 
And what we're going to do then is we're going to extract all these things. We're going to extract the action, location, target, uh, command, and we're going to send them out on message.action, action, message.location, message.target, message.command, and we'll see them come out here. So let's do that again. And this time we go to the inject node. So we're going to switch um, the dining room. And we inject it, and we can see over here that we've got the command is switched, the target is lights, the action is off, and the location is dining room. And if I just go to my dashboard here, um, we won't say anything because I haven't got a location for dining room in here. Um, but not to worry, let's try the living room instead. And we inject that, and and there we have it here. As I say here, this is just from convenience of displaying to show it actually it working. Uh, what we would be doing here is actually issuing a command. Now let's show um, a spelling mistake. So we're going to have swatch, which I don't think I've taken into account. So if we inject it in here. Now the command, if you look down here, is actually undefined. So if I go to the thing, so we can see it here, undefined living room, lights off. So now to correct that, I go into the function node. And I go to my spellings and I just put another one in there for swatch. And we deploy that, clear all that, and inject again. OK, and now we've got switch. OK, a very simple flow um, and how to extract um, commands um, from text data. And as I say, you can be sending the text data in using um, SMS, you can be using email, or you could be using uh, voice, to, voice to text. Now you should be able to build on this and you should control um, your devices uh, using text. Okay, uh, that's all for this video. If you like the video, click on the like button. If you've got comments, then leave comments in below. And if you'd like to get notified of new videos then you can always subscribe to the channel and click on the notification button until next time uh, bye